Yo. Hello and welcome back. This is Frost here and we are playing Martian Gothic today. Show the host tweet. Okay, that's fine. Um, this is a PS1 game. Oh, let's see, controls, we don't care about display, subtitles on, that's what we want, audio. Um, I hope there's no like. Yeah, there's not a lot of background noise. Um, but yeah, let's jump in right in. New game. I've never played this before. I've never seen anything about it. I've heard it's a fantastic game. Um, but we'll just we'll just check it out and see what's going on. This is Kenzo Uji, Enigma Mission Log, 9 12 a.m., June 17th, 2019. I've just crash landed 2019 within two kilometers of Vita Base. The base directional beacon was out of operation, and there was a demon of a dust storm raging. Fire broke out on landing, forcing Matlock, Karn, and myself into emergency evacuation. Come on, Sebastian. Diane Matlock. Earth Control Bacteriological Division, 9.12 a.m., June 17th, 2019. Beginning investigation of continuous radio silence from Mars Vita Base. I attempted to enter airlock 2, but the door was jammed from the inside. My air supply almost ran out before I made it into airlock 3. No sign of a reception committee. No sign of anyone. We obeyed the secondary directive by coming in through separate airlocks. Stay alone, stay alive. That's what we were told, and that's what we've done. Investigating... Enigma Mission Log. Martin Kahn. So the cutscenes end off, division. end super early. June 17, it's good, so you gotta make good thing the subtitles are on. Prime mission directive to investigate <coughs> so there's three people. So the only thing I know about this game is that there's three people. I'm now inside Vita Base. Um, it's still silent. The mission ended almost before it began. Kenzo had to pilot the ship in by the seat of his pants. There's three people. <laughs> by the dust storm. Then they're supposed to be alone. We and crash you can, like, landed close to the base. Them. I think Kenzo made it all right into airlock too, but I don't know That's about cool, Matlock. Glad you got to get out Haven't and heard from either of them since we entered separate airlocks. In the middle of all the panic, we didn't forget the secondary directive. Stay alone, stay alive. Whatever the hell that means. Yo. I checked the airlock's EVA. Can you hear that? Like, is it blowing air? Plenty of suits. Uh, no air tanks. Uh, no way out. End report. <clears throat> it sounds like you can hear it. Or it looks like you can hear it on the audio input. I'll put it back. That's okay. Ugh. For some reason, like, the last, like, two days have been, like, super, like, warm in this room. Okay, so... Hold circle... To run. He walks so slow. I mean, even like by Dino Crisis standards, like the controls are kind of shitty. Open airlock door. Sure. Personally, Personally I like to breathe off. oxygen. Personally, I like to breathe oxygen. Oh, okay. He talks. <clears throat> I mean, there's less less going on than I need to do. Uh, oh, there's a shit ton of stuff you can do. Okay. Um, examine helmet. There's more to that than meets the visor. EVA suit. Tank's empty. <coughs> okay, so I have a silver bullet. My lucky, lucky silver, silver bullet. bullet. Oh. I wonder if there are any Martian werewolves around. It 
it's interesting that it gives me different people. Okay, so I can just go, I can switch between them at will. Um, let's see, open helmet. Take the radio. On radio planet communication, on planet communication only. only. Con in airlock and decon TAM 1 area. Can anyone hear me? Hi there, hope Kenzo's alright. Kenzo, how's the trip? I'm okay. Okay, now let's find out why Vita Base has been silent for 10 months. Be ready for anything. Matlock, Kenzo, let's get moving, people. <coughs> yes, boss. Okay, Karn. Heading into base. So, I mean, I guess I don't have to, like... I can just, like, wait until... I see the thing up there. I don't have to hammer all the buttons at once. Oh. Nothing's in the locker, okay. Oh, he has a letter. That's a personal letter. Okay. This thing tells more than the time. Okay, so the health is like up top, it looks like. Wrapper. Rapper from an old maid country cottage candy bar. Hm. I could lick off what's left, but I'm not that kind of guy. Interesting. Um, it's it's a little interesting the way that like That was weird. It's a little interesting the way that like Oh I can attack. Look at the map. So where am I? Doesn't tell me where I'm at. Times Square, Conway Street, Broadway, Boulevard Street, uh, White Hall, Lonely Street, Park Lane. This doesn't look like Piccadilly Circus. I don't know where I'm at. This doesn't tell me or help me. He has... It looks pretty fresh. A photo. I'm a long way from Tokyo. I think there might be an echo on his. Because he's a little loud. He has a booklet. Tips for video games. Totally useless. Why would you have it? She has a nicotine patch. After months in space, that's the last one I've got. Contact lens. One contact lens, plus the other in the crash. I'd be better off without it. Okay, radio lipstick. I'm too retro for my own good. Mm -hmm. So it keeps track of each player, but like, I wonder if... They can like time travel or something. In London. So it's got to be something that like relates to the people, right? Open door. Um, no, I don't want to use control panel. I just want to see what's here first. the control panel. Okay, so presumably it's blowing all the particles off me so I can go inside, hopefully. Decontamination sequence completed. I feel more contaminated now than I did before. So much for the decontam. 
Okay. Open door. Door malfunction. Computer override required. Hey, the decontam door is malfunctioning. Can't get into the goddamn base. The decontam doors should have a general bypass on the computer. I'll try and get you out. Okay, so that was the other guy, right? That said that. So let's go to him. And let's see what he's all about. This game's very interesting so far. Examine helmet. I talked to the others on the way here. He doesn't have anything in the helmet. We already checked out his stuff. There's only a few breaths left in my air tanks. I can't go out there. Oh! There's just light. Alright, nothing in his locker. That's the helmet, okay. You have to be like stopped in order to like do stuff in this game, which I'm I'm not liking. Presumably he's also gonna hit something and you're gonna have to call the girl. Decontamination sequence completed. <clears throat> there was something wrong about that decontamination. Something very wrong. Mm hmm. Open door. <laughs> the base members nicknamed the quarters after famous streets. I think this is Madison Avenue. Okay, so he thinks this is Madison. So let's go here and try to figure out where Madison's at. Okay, so presumably I just came in A. So to the right should be the, I don't know what the rainbow is yet, but the rainbow seems like it's important. Is anyone around? Anyone alive? Or dead? If you're dead, don't answer. <laughs> I like him. I like him. He's he's my favorite so far. Alright, so this is the rainbow room. So let's see what the rainbow room's all about. Nothing I can do there. Can I open this door? Open. Rainbow, rainbow tag, tag required. required. Okay, good to know. Those are the color codings are the tags that we need to get in them. Good. I don't like that everyone runs like a bitch. I keep like trying to press enter. The, the bulkhead's bulk sealed. Oh. If one's sealed, they'll all be sealed. The only way to raise them is through the main computer. Well. Dude, I'm so pumped for this game. I wish they ran better. They're supposed to be astronauts. How can they not run? The bulkhead's sealed. If one's sealed, they'll all be sealed. The only way to raise them is through the main computer. Okay. So I have a feeling that this guy is not going to be able to get out. Oh, I can't open that door. Okay. Uh oh. Uh, if anyone here was alive, would they have left the corpse lying in a corridor? Good point. Good point. Man makes a good point. Search the dead body. Well, why even give me the option then? Green tag Green. required. Green tag is required, okay.
Well, call me a techno zen hippie, and I've been called that before. But there's a dead man hovering in front of me in the Boulevard Saint Michel. I can hear him speak in my mind. So, we've got reanimation, telepathy, and levitation. Now I call that downright supernatural. An alien haunting. Are you on something, Kenzo? I'm gonna go ahead and leave, okay? Good, makes sense. Ooh, this guy has a micro recorder and an orange tag. I might need the orange tag. Examine it. Standard issue micro recorder. Probably for personal use only. Antonio Felici, base director, day log, August 8, 2018, 11.56 p.m. I was walking down Broadway when I first heard them coming. There's a dead man hovering in front of me. I just walk on by. I can still hear gunfire. Earth Control should never have shipped those weapons in. If anyone gets to hear this, tell Alan B. I resigned. I handed the master key over to Judith. The crew trust her more than me. They think I'm in Allenby's pocket. Well, I guess I used to be. Yuri broadcast a message a few moments before system closed down. He said, stay alone, stay alive. Sure, but stay alive how long? An hour at most? The end will come soon. Main bulkheads are sealed. Shuttle bay area obstructed. No way out. I'm heading back to my own room. Lock myself in. Sooner or later they'll come for me, and that'll be the finish. If anyone hears this, tell my wife I kept the faith. She'll know what that means. Some things are personal. Okay. This is also a green. Yellow tag required. Yellow tag required. Did I get the orange tag? You got an orange tag. Health boost. I'll leave it. I don't know who's going to need it. It's a dead guy. He's got nothing. So that just means that he doesn't have anything. Not that he doesn't want to search him. Again, though. Ooh, a key. Med key. A key. Marked M-E-D. Med? Okay. We're moving along here. Oh, there's another body. I didn't have anything. Um, where is... Where am I on this map? So, I went down State Street. Where's the orange at? Orange is way over there. Piccadilly Circus. Oh. Lots of greens down here. Some opens. The suns, there's one by Sunset Boulevard that looks like it might be worth going to. Um, let me go back, actually. I, don't, I just don't understand like where I went.
See, because I kind of made like a... I went that way and I kind of made a... Like... Green tag, green tag required. required. Okay. So is it the first green door? I I kind of hate that it does. Bulk the bulkhead sealed. sealed. I kind of hate sealed, that. It'll all be sealed. The only way to raise them yes, is. Yes, yes, I know. I'm aware. You keep telling me. Um. Corridor after corridor. Not a living soul. Well, obviously. Shadows and echoes. This is a haunted house on Mars. Even more perfect. She doesn't have anything. He doesn't have anything. I mean, I'm assuming... At this point, you have to assume they're all dead, right? This is the bulkhead. Okay. The bulkhead's good, sealed. Good, good. If one's sealed, they'll all be sealed. If it's the sealed, only way to raise them is through sealed. the main computer. This is a green door. Oh, examine vac tube. A low tech vacuum tube. There's a note. Examine note. I'm in the mood. Park, Park Lane. Park Lane is written in capitals. Could be a password. I mean, I wouldn't have thought that was a password. Like, when I read that note, that's not the first thing I think. I'm not like, oh my god, this could be a password. Alright, well, there's nothing this way, apparently. I'm very interested to see, like, where everyone else is going. He seems to be the hero so far. Looks like the lock mechanism has been heat fused. Okay, so let's go back over. He, we're out of stuff for him to do, so let's go to the vac tube. And then we'll switch to the girl. The real question is does it keep like them loaded in their room? in the background or does it load them in whenever they like switch to them these are the questions that demand answers alright open the helmet nothing in the helmet we already checked all of her stuff what does she say about going outside out on the Martian surface without air in my tank would be a quick way to commit suicide. It would, you are correct. Yo, she has a gun, a piccolo. Oh, okay, so it's just a tap. I was like, why is she doing this? I'm holding it down. Oh my god, she can move with it. Let's go. She moves slow as shit, but she can move with it. Alright, so she should be able to get out. We're guessing. Is she going to be the only one that wasn't like, oh my god, this is bad. Like a being sprayed by insecticide. I don't know if I can play this straight through. I might have to like. Door malfunction. Computer override required. Okay, I guess that I was wrong. There is something that guy can do, and I remember what it is. I don't like it. We haven't even saved yet. 
I don't know how to save, actually. That's a good point. We do not know how to save the game. But it was this way, with the floating dude. Um, so let's take a look at the map real quick, just because I don't know if we're going to need this. Um, it looks like there is a room at the end that I can get into. This room's green. Orange. Oh, I have the orange tag, okay. Okay, so tags open doors. Am I just am I done with that tag though, or is it back okay, that's interesting. Around the rest of the room, real quick, before we use the computer. Oh my god, there's that guy here. Use the vac tube. Piccolo ammo. Okay. The base director's girlfriend, perhaps? Yo, he kept the faith of his wife, alright. Nice desk. Shame about the lock. Do I get a little a mini key or something? I, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that it, does, it just doesn't tell you that you used, like what you did, you know? Whatever. Recording by Judith Haraway, emergency transmission. It's Haraway. Listen, Alan. It's too late to evacuate. I don't know if you're receiving this. Communications are breaking up. They opened up that duck. On your orders, it was a Pandora's box. All the evils of old Mars flew out, but Pandora found a solitary gift in the box. Hope. I doubt there's any hope on cold Mars. There are people clumping together. Time in the rock. You should designate Mars a quarantine planet, but I know you won't. If you send a manned craft, warn the crew. Stay alone. Stay alive. And for God's sake. Project Director Haraway's transmission terminated. Oh, okay. All off planet communication is operative. Password extracted from final transmission. Password Pandora. Martian Mayhem. The worst video game in the solar system. I guess I'm gonna save it. It said 12 saves are free. Memory card full. Alright, hold on, let's see. Assign slots. I can't, I can't save it. It won't let me go back to the, come on. 
I'm playing a different game um, called uh, Martian Gothic. Well, that's dumb. All right, well, I guess we have to stop this real quick. Quick game. That's du that's really dumb that it won't let me change my memory card mid game. There, now I have two separate ones. That's dumb. Okay, well, we'll speed run back everything that we just did. Should be fairly easy, I think. We don't need to go to the girl. Um, oh, I'm, I'm really upset about this. Um, I'm playing a game called Martian Gothic. It's a old game. It's very much in the same style as Dino Crisis was and like the Resident Evil games. Um, but I've never played it before. Um, I heard, I read about it on Reddit. Like I read like what it was about. And then one of my, um, one of the streamers that I follow, Bach with Soup, um, he um, did a run through of this game a while back. Uh, and I have it on YouTube as like my watch later, but I haven't watched it yet because I wanted to play through it on my own. <laughs> can I skip this? I can skip it. So with him, I just need to get the... I need to get this. Get the radio. Nothing in the locker. So we're gonna run it back real quick. We're gonna speed strats the first half out. Environment. First rule, contact your fellow mission members. Okay, well that was new. He wants me to contact my mission members. Use the radio. <coughs> Con and airlock and decon but you can, and this game, area. it's like really cool. It's like you a Resident Evil game, game, but you can switch through three Kenzo. different characters. Kenzo. To like do different I'm stuff okay. the whole time. So, okay, now that's pretty cool. Find out why Vita base has been so far, it seems really good. Um, we skip, skip all of this. I think the problem that I might have like with this in general is just like I'm probably gonna want to. Um, keep going. I'm probably gonna want to like just go like through each character and like okay let's do everything I can with this character before I move on and I'm sure that's probably going to be like problematic probably get myself in a bad spot or two honestly if I were developing a game like this I would make it that way I would make it so that if you did like all of Brad first then like at the end of the thing like when Brad got to a point where he was stopping like it, he was in peril or some shit Okay, so computer override required. Hey, the, the door is not functioning, so we gotta go to this guy. <sighs> this guy. Was there something in his stores locker? I don't remember. There was nothing. Nothing in the storage locker. He needs to go through here. Use the control panel. Can't skip this scene. Decontamination sequence completed. His door works. Is anyone around? He says the joke about if you're dead, don't say anything. Go in here. Uh, he 
says, if anyone was still alive, would they be leaving dead bodies around? Okay, gives us the orange tag. I'm just going to go back this way and do all the same stuff that I did beforehand. Just in case there's, like, I need this password over here. Because I think, like, this guy gave me something. No. One of these guys gave me something. Med key. I think triangle is what skips everything. She doesn't have anything. That door's locked. Qu Makes the comment quarter after corridor. That guy doesn't have anything. But yeah, I mean, a lot of like. A lot of games green tag required. required. Um, a lot of these old school games um, are like the old school horror games are some of the best ones because they're like Nowadays, like, you put a giant monster on screen, and, like, you make a jump scare or whatever, and, like, the game can handle, like, you being in a dark area and all that stuff, like, graphic-wise and everything, like, Visage. But old games couldn't do that, so old games had to, like, really throw music at you and, like, ambiance and just, like, aura and puzzle puzzle stuff like create atmosphere that way use door with the orange tag all right we're back good okay so tags open doors Girlfriend. Alright, so we're back where we were. We got back in about seven minutes. It's not bad. Use computer with the micro recorder. Antonio. Alright, so I can save this. Um, we won't save yet. Override, yes. Alright, so that guy's good. You're out of the box now, Karn, but Decontamp 3 door won't respond. We'll have to find a way to unlock Decontamp 3. Okay, so the girl is stuck for, for the time being. Which suck. Oh my god. Just use the computer. Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> On August 6, 1996, proof of ancient Martian life was announced by NASA to the world's media based on the identification of microfossils in the Martian meteorite. Within a few months of announcement, President Clinton, hey, made a public commitment to the search for extraterrestrial life on Mars. 15 million years ago, an asteroid or impact comet blasted an area of the Martian surface into space. One of the rocks from this ejecta commencing on a waypoint, wayward orbit, which ended in Antarctica in 11,000 BC. This meteorite weighed 4.2 pounds, and its materials were formed 4.5 billion years ago on Mars. <coughs> when rocks were first condensing on Earth, it was discovered in 1984 and labeled Rock ALH 84001. 
From the beginning, NASA's claim was a source of contention on scientific circles, but dissenting voices were gradually silenced as later investigations proved conclusively that fossil bacteria of alien origin were indeed present on ALH. 84001 The core of the Vita-1 base in its present form was completed on 17 October 2015, crewed by six men and four women. Its mission was summed up its its name, Vita Life. Vita-1 was intended above all as a research base for extant Martian life from its completion in October 2015 to the present time of August 2018. President Allenby has been ordered by all the resources of his multinational company Earth Control to be placed at the disposal of the Vita Project of which Vita-1 base is the first stepping stone. A second Vita base has just been completed in the Hellas Plain, awaiting its first crew and others are planned. The Vita project was instituted by President Allenby in 2005 to search for physical evidence of extraterrestrial life. Mars is the first step in this long-term project geared to the discovery and analysis of living Martian microorganisms. The enormous funds available to Earth control allowed the pace of space exploration to accelerate, outstripping, outstripping even the Apollo missions of the 1960s. The most sophisticated of all info mesh systems is the YX-009 series, and of this series, Mood is considered the most fully conscious and eccentric. The info mesh user for Mood is Andrew Muir, who has been born of stress, born the stress of frequency frequent meshing with fortitude. Mood may be addressed through the audio walls of mood chamber, but is primarily conduct contacted by a semiral interface chair. Once the user is seated, he or she will enter a psionic reconstruction of a familiar habitat. Although the user's body will remain seated in mood's chamber, their consciousness will be entirely absorbed into a semiral sem simulated world. Earth control. Earth Control is best summed up by its logo, a picture of Mars cradled in a pair of human hands with the slogan Earth Cares. Earth Control is the aerospace division of the Earth Care Unity, the largest multinational company in human history. Under its president, Bernard Allenby, Allenby Earth Care Unity has grown from an ar agro agronomic corporation specializing in genetically modified food to a commercial empire spanning numerous spheres of interest, including agriculture, information technology, Arms manufacturing, bioengineering, and space exploration. Oh shit, there was another one. One of the main aims of Earth Control is the human colonization of Mars, with the view to terraforming the planet by the end of the first 21st century. If successful, this will be followed by the terraforming of Venus. Okay. By 2005, Allenby was in a position to fulfill his lifelong ambition, the quest for life in space. With greater financial resources and the chronically underfunded NASA, he effectively took over the management of space exploration under the aegis of Earth Control. As Allenby himself said at the time, from Sputnik to Neil Armstrong walking on the moon, it took a little more than a decade. Now it's 36 years since the first manned lunar landing, and we still haven't managed to send a human to Mars. Just what the hell's wrong with us? This is eerily similar to, like, um... Elon Musk. Allenby is Elon Musk. InfoMesh is a generic name applied to neural computer networks extrapolated from the personalities of living people. These neural networks interact directly with the user's mind within a shared mental world, known as simurality. Sim <coughs> All InfoMesh systems possess consciousness, but the nature and degree of this consciousness is a matter of pure speculation. With these advanced systems, telepathy has finally become a scientific reality. Only skilled InfoMesh practitioners, known as meshers, are able to communicate on a telepathic level with these sophisticated networks. There is some evidence that accomplished meshers have a psychic ability, but this is a matter of debate. What is certain is that any normal person is likely to suffer severe mental trauma if they engage in meshing. The most intelligent of all InfoMesh systems is the YX009 series. And of this series, Mood is considered the most fully conscious and eccentric. The Vita based InfoMesh user for Mood is Andrew Muir, who has borne the stress of frequent meshing with fortitude. Oh my god. Up to about 3 billion years ago, Mars was warm and lush. Vast rivers rushed down such valleys as the Val Valles Marinus, Mar Marineris, 
The climate changed when the planet's orbit altered, causing the, over the seas to evaporate and the temperature to f fall. Martian life retreated underground, drawing energy from hot springs and thermal areas. Under the surface of Mars, there is a layer of permafrost 100 meters deep. Back in the 20th century, it was postulated that if life still existed on Mars, then it was likely to be found at the depth of 50 meters or more. It had already been noted that the red planet possesses the six elements essential to life. Hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur. Mars surveyor 2005 proved that microorganisms once thrived on Mars, but living bacteria were not discovered until the establishment of Vita Base 1. Living Martian bacteria, like their ancestors, fell into three main types of terrestrial microbes Bacillus, Coccus, and Spirillum. These were found mostly 60 meters or more underground, apart from thermal spring locations where living bacteria have been unearthed less than a meter under the surface. Shouldn't it be unmarsed? Because, you know, Earth, Mars. Shouldn't it be unmarsed? Um, anyways, <laughs> a curious feature of the three types of Martian microorganisms is that they have been observed to bond into tripartite structures of rod ovioid spiral. Jesus, fuck. All right. July 1965, Mariner 4, Mariner 6, Chief First Service of Flyby of Mars. November 1971, Mariner 9 entered Martian orbit. March 74, Mars 6 orbiter lander sent back some data before contact loss during landing sequence. June 1976, Viking 1 and Viking 2 orbit, la orbiter landers achieved Martian orbit. In the following months, the landers analyzed soil samples. And I want to show you how proof. No proof of Martian life. 1984, Martian meteorite discovered in Antarctica. 1896, oh, it's 12 years later, public announcement of microfossil forms in ALH. 96, November, Mars Global Surveyor launched on search for water on Martian surface. December 96, Pathfinder mission overtook the Global Surveyor and landed on July 4th, 97 releasing a six-wheeled mini-rover to study rocks and soil. Planet 1999, Planet B, a Japanese probe, launched to study the Martian atmosphere. 98, first stage of NASA's Mars Surveyor 98 mission launched into Martian orbit to study the climate. 99, lander stage of Mars Surveyor 98 launched to probe polar samples of ice and carbon dioxide. July 2005, Mars Surveyor 2005 launched to acquire Martian soil samples and return them to Earth under strict quarantine conditions. Results verified the existence of Martian microfossils. 2009, first manned landing on Mars in Zeus 1 near the Olympus Mons extremity of the Valles Marineris. This was the first space mission to fight asked by Alibi. <laughs> president of Earth Control, who gave his own affectionate nickname of Zeus to the program. The astronauts took soil and rock samples and left the rudiments of a base building kit on the surface. September 2010, 20,000, 2010, 2010, NASA microbiologists discovered clear evidence of fossilized bacteria in Zeus-1 samples, spurring America to join with Japan and Europe in a concerted investigation of the Martian subsurface from a permanent base Earth Control replaced NASA as regulator of space program. 2011, Zeus 2 landed on the Mars, on the Mars, and began a piecemeal construction of a Martian core sampling base. Seven construction missions followed in quick succession over the next 10 months. October 2015, Martian base named Vita 1 completed with an initial crew of 10 to be replaced in six month shifts. Air supplied partly by filtration, up to 50% of food supplied by a primitive arbor, arbor, arboretum, arboretum. June through November 2016, Vita 1 extended and crew increased to 30 members. Construction of Vita 2 commenced on the Hellas Plain. July, September 2017, further extension of Vita 1, crew increased to 44 members. August 2018, base crew reached maximum level of 58 members, headed by base director Felici 
Chief Supervisor Oba and Project Director Haraway. Further extension of base underway. Preparations in hand to transfer 20 crew members to Vita 2 on the Hellas plane. Alright, so we're on Mars, last one, and then um, we have two more things to talk about. Fourth planet from the sun, so this is just a bunch of nonsense about Mars. Okay. Restricted. I need a password. For each of the restricted ones, I need a password. And then local files. Oh, this tells me what's in the storage boxes. There are 43 storage boxes. Uh, this is probably going to be super important. I feel like I've already picked up some of these though, right? Alright, well, let's, um... Do I want to save yet? Let's go ahead and save. You might as well. Don't touch anything, because I think, I don't know, why are you not saving? There we go. The white, apparently, is what it wanted me to do. We have 12 saves free, does it, does, do I only have 11 saves now? Ooh. Okay, get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay. Let's just now the other guys the other guy's free. So let's just go take this guy to like I guess Leave him right here and see what this guy's all about. I don't know how long this game is. This game could be super long, it could be super short. I assume it's probably not too short, right? Martin Khan here. Can anyone hear me? There's something waiting for us in this base. I can feel it. I know, man. It's creepy Something as in fuck. the scent of the air. And a special kind of sound. Dude, I'm in on this game. This game's fucking awesome. The bulkhead sealed. Automatic security procedure. Their biohazard event. Bolt block 779 locking mechanism. Looks like the lock's been deliberately jammed from the inside. Okay. Dead body's got nothing. What the hell stopped my watch? 48, 64? Uh, 64 minutes past. 48 o'clock? You, you gotta be kidding. 4864? Let's put that shit in here. 4864. I feel like that might be useful later. I really need to get like a notebook. To like write some shit. I have a notebook. I don't have a pen with me though. Pen's over there. I have some candy. The candy, real quick. Um, Cause I, I, yeah, just, just write, just write down. Fuck it, why not? Oh, this is even, this is probably better, even better. Science, we got science book. Oh man, my legs all messed up. <sighs> All right, so let's see. Karn watch. Let's 
4864. Came back from this way. Um, I guess we can try this door. Green, green tag, tag required. required. So does the green tag open all the doors, or like does it only open one? Like how does that work? Do I need, if there's multiple doors, or to find multiple green tags? This guy's got three bullets in him. What happened here? Group hysteria? That's possible, man. Did they say to stay away from each other? This guy's also missing stuff. By the decomposition of the bodies, they probably died around the time of the last transmission to Earth. Weird thing is, they're like human freezers. I can feel the cold coming right out of them. Okay. Open the park lane hatch. Let's try four, eight, six, four. Yo. Weird how a passcode got into my watch. I've heard strange stories about the main computer in this base. They all have different. They all have different times now on the top. Look at that. Okay, so we got a green tag, health boost, and an antitoxin. Okay, that's interesting. Let's. Can I like investigate my antitoxin? Like, what is? No, it doesn't. It doesn't let me. It just tells me. Okay, well, we got a green tag. So let's see. that takes care of the other door. Purple, Purple tag, tag required. required. All right. Well, I mean, we're puzzling. Let's let's go let's go over here. Check this out. Use the vac tube. Can I? I want to go back to the other guy and see if I can go pick up the green tag. Oh, not her. My bad. Wrong. Wrong person. You stay there. I doubt I can, but it would be cool. There's a ton of green tags around here. Do 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 do. So there's not a whole lot of remembering stuff going on at the moment. So I can send it. That's how you send stuff. All right. Well, this guy probably needs to use it. So let's take it. And we'll see if it, like, we'll see if it lets me. We'll see what it lets me do. Um, four, eight, six, four. Two, nine... One five three one seven two. No, okay. Well, let's go use the green tag on the other room. I'm I'm guessing it probably. I don't think it's one time use only. It might be. I'm hoping it's not. If it's one time use only, then I feel like you can get super fucked. I just came out of there. So 
So wait, was there not a green door? I could have swore there was a green door. Okay, well I guess not. So I guess you do send him the green tag. Okay. Also, I want to look at my map. Where was he at? Where's the purple door? So he must be down there by Park Lane. So he's on the other side of that room right there. In yeah, he's down there by Park Lane. <sighs> there is a green door right there. Am I just drunk and I missed it? Because here's the purple door, right? Purple, purple tag, tag required. required. It's not there. Yeah. There there is a green door right here. Green tag required. Um Alright, well, let's go back and get it, I guess. I like how his run is only slightly faster than his walk. And then we'll see. I'm just getting lost. I'm really liking this, though. Like, it really brings back that old school feel. Yeah, I don't know what I... I got must have just missed or something. Nope, it's gone. The one time you saw it. I like it when a door opens. One time use only. Wow. So that means, unless there's another green tag in here... You can get stuck, but also, I... Definitely bunches of dead dudes. Dartboard. One of them brick games. Never played it. Never whipped. Okay, so he does not play darts. Dead bodies here. It personally, it purposely doesn't show Neo you. Neo Retro yet. Decor. That guy right there. Mishmash of styles from all over the place. The entire base was decorated in clashing designs, supposed to supply visual variety for the base members. Doesn't do anything for me. There's a ton of stuff here. Open the music box. What's going on, Maverick? Thanks for stopping by watching. We're having a lot of fun with this game so far. Study drawer key. This dude's this dude's gonna get up and murder me, right? Like we can agree to we can agree on this. Okay, he has another green tag. Good to know. Oh my god, get off me! Get off! Take the pop gun! Take the pop gun! He doesn't stop! Oh my god, I'm about to die. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh my god. Okay, well, two bites took me down quite a bit already. I have a health boost. But see, is this, is this like, is this like a med kit? Or is it a... Like, gives you more health thing?
Oh my god, I'm gonna get back into a corner here. Use the vac tube. Um, can't do anything with this right now. Put that in there. Also, probably the study drawer key. Oh my god, I hate that sound. I'm like pushing off too. This is like, why does he grab you? Like, I can't get around him. This guy's dead for sure. The guy walks away when you go in there. Alright, well, he needs a health boost. There we go. So health boost fills you up almost all the way. There was a gun in there though. I want the gun. I fucked up by going in the wrong direct, like wrong time. Not even anything in this. And I'm about to die. A pop gun that fires one of those rubber sucker things. I'm gonna look real hard running around with a pop gun. Well then don't use it. Unequip, man, unequip. I think I might just die. We're almost at time and I kind of want to see what happens. Maybe I won't die. That guy will just go away. Um, we can go put some stuff back in this thing over here. But I mean, I'm going to have to save it again soon anyways. So, I mean, best case scenario. A low tech vacuum tube. Oh my God, did I not? I might as well just die. I might as well just die. <laughs> I might as well just die. I put the green tag in the other thing. Why don't they why don't they match? Okay, well, I guess we'll die. Or we'll make a run for it. If he catches us, I'm probably just going to let him eat me. And then we'll we'll call it an episode. And then... Like, is it like X? Is X the one? Triangle. Triangle. But I'm also dead. Sayonara. <laughs> okay, well we saved it. So, um, this is take two games. That's pretty cool. Um, we'll we'll check out more tonight. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all next time.